now let's talk about a string buffer, right? And there is a difference. So somebody can ask you, what is the difference between a string and a string buffer? Both are classes, both are classes, okay? So basic difference, string is immutable class and its object cannot be modified after it is created. The string buffer is mutable class and uh, which can be used to do operation on a string object means you can modify it. Methods are not synchronized. All methods are syn synchronized in this class. Okay. Uh, we'll see the example. It is fast. String is fast. The string buffer is, uh, you know, because you are doing something there, right? So, so you're changing it. So obviously it will take time. Multiple thread can't access the same time. Therefore it is slow. Means if multiple process, right? They want to uh, access that string buffer object, right? So it's not possible. That's why we say it it, it is synchronized, okay? If a string is created using constructor or method, those string will be stored in heap memory as well as string constant pool. So that I was talking about this constant pool when I'm saying this, that if you create place is equals to this, W is equals to this, there is a constant pool. From there it is um, caught. Heap space, string buffer is stored in heap space. Okay, okay how to use it how to use it when you say string buffer right so this is showing the example that when you do with 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 uh, something with a string and the same thing if you do it with a string buffer what will happen we'll we'll do it in, in our own way let's let's create another class uh, string buffer demo We'll create another class string buffer demo. Okay. New class. And sorry, the name is string buffer demo. Fine. And I'm taking the same thing. That's why I've copied it. Okay. K, okay. because we want to see the difference, you know, how, how both things work. Now, now, when I say place dot, 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 two, two lowercase. So there is a function two lowercase. So that should actually uh, change United Kingdom to all the small case, but it doesn't change. The thing is, you have to keep it in. And so I'll show you what is happening here. Let me pick it in another string. So string check is equals to this. Now we'll print check and place both. So if I will print system dot out dot print ln, what is place? Okay, and we will print about what is check. Right. Both will be different. Let's run this. Why? Because a string is immutable. You cannot change it. Place is still same. Place is still United Kingdom with, with a particular, you know, T E D in capital and K I N G D O in capital and then small m. But check. So when you say two lowercase, you have to catch it in another string then you can store it it's like this it, it will be like this okay now you are not changing the place it's still it's still same so but now what string buffer says it you can change it if you want to change it so wherever you want to change the 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 particular string use a string buffer then so let's use it string buffer this time let's let's say city is equals to is equals to Delhi Delhi New Delhi so there is a city called New Delhi something like this and let's keep uh, explicitly uh, this 
L H and I in capital L. Sorry, my bad. I want to keep L H I in capital. Why? Now see some of the functions of string buffer. First of all, it's saying that you should not do in this way. You should not do uh, something in this way. If you want to declare a string buffer, you should say string and then you should use new keyword to have it. So you cannot do in this way. You should do it like this. In the bracket, you should say that this is my new string buffer. Right. Now you can do some functions. So I'll say city dot append. Okay, I don't want to do, do this thing. I want to do this one as of now. I want to append something here. Let's say dot dot wow dot dot. Now, now if I'll print city, so let's print before append and after append. So I want to print first city, city. And then I want to print then again city, right? So if you will run this time, you'll be able to observe that New Delhi, it was before appending it was New Delhi. And now when you appended it, the city is changed. It's now New Delhi, wow. Okay. So there is a difference. You cannot change the string, but you can change the string before. It is changed. Now the city has become New Delhi dot dot wow. It's not just that. Okay. What other functions you can use with it? So let's see that city dot. So append, there are different types of append you can do. Carash. So most of the functions which you have at a string, you have at a string buffer also. Okay. Don't worry. And uh, do we have split? I'm checking. No, no, no. So there is a split function. Let me show you for place actually. So here you can use a split function. So I can say place dot split. And you can split based on regular expression or a particular character. So I want to split this based on a space. Based on the space. So that I want to split this and this. It's like this. Got it? So you want to split based on the, a particular character. I want to split it based on space. So that will return me one string array. So you have to store it in array. Okay. So split it. I'll say split it. You can name anything, right? I am I am doing it like this. But then once it is split it, you, you can check it. What is there, right? So if I'll print system dot out dot print ln split it. And in the bracket, if I'll say one, what it will print? It will print. Angel. Because at first index, you know, in the string array, kingdom is present. See here, it's printing me. And if you print split at zero, it will print you only united. Okay. Fine, read about, read about it. So there are a lot of functions to use, you know, when you're using string buffer and a string. What else we can do? I'm just checking city dot, city dot. Insert, yes, you can insert something at a particular offset. A particular offset means it's like index. At particular index, you can insert something. Let's try it. I, even I have not tried it. I want to try this. I want to try this. Can I do this? So I want to see, say that at, 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 at seventh position, insert hello. I don't know whether this will work or not. I am checking it. <laughs> or let's put some number. So we'll say 007, right? But but as a string, basically, you are inserting it. 
but you know you had to put in double quote it looks like number but actually you had to put it as a string only so let's print again city let's see what is happening so if i run this if i run this it's saying new del 007 high so what we are doing at seventh position right so it's starting with zero zero one two three four five six seventh position put uh, zero zero seven it's like this right so what has happened so at the seventh it has put uh zero zero seven and then continuing with the the other things it's like this okay so it is shifting it it is shifting after 007, it is continuing with it. So insert is a function by which you can insert something at a particular index. Great. That's it about string buffer. Uh, we'll see some of the interview questions now related to string and string buffer in the next session.